Welcome to the Fit Project, your weekly workouts designed to help you be strong, be mobile. Do us a quick favor, subscribe to our channel below and you'll get the latest workouts as they're posted. Matt's joining me for today's workout, which is all about finding balance. I'm not talking a lifetime, I'm talking actual physical balance. And this is part of our quickie workout series, which means it'll take about 10 to 12 minutes and you can do it anywhere, no equipment's needed. For this workout, I highly recommend that you go barefoot. Your feet, your toes, they have all kinds of sensors on them and are able to send messages up to your brain. So you'll benefit from doing this barefoot. All right, you guys are ready to get your balance on? Woo! All right, let's get going. First up is the one leg position. So Matt, if you could just stand on your left leg, that's the one bracing and balancing, and we're just going to kick out with the right foot. So what you want to do to get started is think that your feet are spreading and your pinky toe and your big toe are gripping the ground along with your heel. So that will create a little bit of an arch in your left foot. And I'm going to time you guys. And so um, you can do this even if your balance isn't quite there yet, like me. Um, you could grab a chair or just tap it lightly as you try to balance. If your foot comes down during the 30 seconds, not a problem. We all just keep working at this. So, let's get started, 30 seconds, starting now. Great job. Now, the foot that's kicking out, you can point that, flex that, whatever you gotta do to just stay balanced. And we're really working our left leg right now. So you should feel this in your left leg. Squeezing your butt cheek really will help stabilize you. And you can create fists on your side, you can your hands on your hips, whatever it's gonna take to help you stay upright and balanced. We got five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Great. <laughs> Let's switch legs. So again, spread your toes on your right foot and create that arch and kick out with the left. Here we go. Awesome job. Now again, if you need a chair, even if you're not holding it the whole time, you can always tap when you feel a little off balance. Whatever you guys gotta do, the more you do this, the easier it will become, trust me. We've got 12, 10, hold it up, squeeze that butt cheek. You feeling the burn in your right leg? Awesome, Woo. three, two, and one. Great job. So now the next step is a little bit of a variation. We're increasing the difficulty. So this round we're gonna again start with standing on our left foot and spread those toes and what we're going to do is bring our right leg up to our chest as high as we can. So, just like that. Great. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Um, bring it as high as you can and just do your best. So here we go. Three, two, and go. Awesome. Now Matt works a lot on his balance, so he should be able to hold this for the whole 30 seconds. <laughs> But if you have a chair, again, a couch, anything like that, you can definitely use that to keep you upright. Another helpful tip is to pick a, a point in the distance that you focus on. Little dot. Uh, I wouldn't recommend looking in a mirror at yourself. It's a little creepy, but it'll also throw off your balance. <laughs> Squeeze that butt cheek and bring it down. Great job. Now let's switch to left leg up in three, two, go. Great job. Now, we're squeezing our right butt cheek, bracing our abs, just like we did in the last round, just that we're doing a little bit more advanced position with our leg up. Great job. Remember to breathe also, that's an important cue here. You got 10 seconds. You got this. Three, two, and bring it down. Ooh, you made it, guys. Now we're going to move on to something that's a little bit more challenging. It's called the one-legged plank. So first off, we're going to get on the ground. And your base position can be two options. It can be a plank on your knees like that. And we're going to have all of our weight on our shoulders. You may see in planks on your hands, but we're going to do on our shoulders this round. And this is your first option. So you want to think shoulders stacked over your elbow. You want to think your 
lift it up in your, your middle section, and if you're on your knees, that's a okay. No matter what's the, the second option is up on your toes, so a traditional plank. So what we're going to do in this exercise is take it a step further. We're not just planking around here. We are going to, whether you're in a kneeling or um, leg out position, we're going to kick one leg up and hold it for 30 seconds and then take it with the other. So get in your base position, whether it's on your knees or on your feet, and we are going to pick our right leg up in three, two, one, go. Now, if you don't want to collapse in your shoulders or in your midsection, just think you're reaching with your toes, long, 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 breathing in, you've got this halfway there. The higher you lift it, the more challenging it'll be. Five, four, three, two, bring it on down. Great. Shake it out a little bit. Let's get ready in your base position. If you need to readjust your shoulders, do what you gotta do. And we're gonna lift our left leg in three, two, one, go. Now it doesn't matter if your foot is flexed or extended, but you just wanna think length in your body and lifting up in midsection. Breathe. It's really important here. You might be shaking like a leaf. That's okay. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, going three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we're going to take it up another notch and we're going to do a contralateral plank. And so you're going to have the opposite arm and the opposite leg extended. Again, you can do this on your knees or on your feet. And this round we're going to come up on our hands. You want to think the same principles. Your shoulders are stacked over your wrist. And if you do it from a kneeling position, that's what we got going on. And then Matt's going to do this on his toes because he's a balanced pro. And you want to think you're lifted up in your midsection, weight stacked, your shoulders over your wrist. And let's get ready. We're going to lift our right arm and our left leg in three, two, one. Really challenging here, you guys. You've got this 30 seconds. Just think length throughout the body. Squeezing, squeezing, and breathing. Very important. You're almost there. You've got 10 seconds. Really reach with that leg and that arm. Matt is definitely getting a balance workout here. In three, two, bring it down. Awesome job. You might want to shake out your wrists. They do tend to get a little warped with all that weight on it. So this round, again, readjust your base position. Shoulder stack over the wrist. And this time we're going to lift our left arm and our right leg. Here we go. You guys got this. Three, two, and up. And if it helps, you can lift your arm at first and then your leg. Um, whatever works for you guys. Again, the more you do this, the easier it will become. You're just training your brain and your muscles to work together. You got this. 12. 12 seconds. Again, look, he's reaching long, 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 and lifting up. Three, two, and one. Matt is done for me here. This is not easy. But guess what? You can take this in all other athletic areas of your life, yoga, anything else that you're doing. So this is not just to kill you guys with some balance work. Next up is the crawl position. So everyone's going to start out in the same base position, which is in a kneeling tabletop. And again, make sure those shoulders stack over those wrists and your knees are spread hip width apart. Your toes can be, you want them flexed like Matt has. And what we're going to do is lift, lift up off of our knees and get into a crawl position. So Matt, why don't you show them? Perfect. And so you can come back down. So we're going to do this and hold it for 30 seconds. And then, of course, we're going to take it up a notch and do a little more balance work. So let's just focus on the task at hand with up on our toes in three, two, and go. And you may be feeling yourself shaking even more by now, especially after the last exercises that we did. But just really focus, again, 
Lifting up, squeezing, squeezing in the legs, in the arms, and remembering to breathe. Really important, you guys. You got this. You're going to also want to think like you're dragging your toes to your hands and your hands to your toes. It's really helpful to know. And bring it on down. Good job. Now, we're going to take it up another level. We're going to get into that crawl position and we're going to lift up one leg, hold it for 30 seconds, and then we'll do the other. You guys ready? You got this. You made it this far. So let's get going. Up and get ready in that crawl position. And we are going to lift our right foot in three, two, one, go. So now you're really challenging yourself here. You've got to balance on one foot and just your toes, really, and then your arms. So you really want to be bracing and breathing and lifting and squeezing. You guys got this. You want to bounce, rock stars. Great job. Good job, man really hard. Three, two, and one. Whew. Again, shake it out of your wrist, wiggle your toes, and let's get ready. One more round. This time we'll lift our left foot. So let's get in that tabletop position, and let's lift up on our toes, and we will lift our left leg in three, two, go. Again, think like you're dragging your Toes to your hand, hand to your toes. I know it might be challenging right now. You're only on one foot, but you guys, it will help you really engage everything, lift everything, and help with your balance. Your brain is freaking out right now. It's like, you want me to stand on one big toe here? This is insane. Insane. Five, four, three, two, bring it on down. Shake it out. Take a minute to breathe after this. I know it's a little challenging. Again, the more you do it, the easier it's going to become, and you can transfer these skills to everything else you do. Hope you enjoy. Hope you sweat a little. As always, be strong, be mobile, and be balanced. <laughs> we'll see you next time.